Hey everybody, happy Thor's Day. Mark Kazi here from Black Cat Comics and Rockin' Milpitas. Today is the first new comic day of the new year and I'm here to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's a huge Marvel week, so I'm gonna start with those guys because they've got like 25 books this week. It's huge Star Wars week this week. This guy, Star Wars number 14. Part five of the Vader down thing. Wookiee versus Wookiee in this one. You can read more about that one in our newsletter. Darth Vader number 15 is part six of six. The last part of your Vader down. The first uh, Marvel Star Wars event crossover thing. Everybody's been reading all this Star Wars stuff, so I don't need to talk too much about it, except that there's also the first issue of this guy, Obi-Wan and Anakin. I know Anakin from the prequels is your favorite character of all the Star Wars movies, so you're dying to pick this one up. And in all seriousness, Obi-Wan is totally awesome, so I'm looking forward to checking that one out. Ewan McGregor was really cool. Two issues of Amazing Spider-Man this week. This is issue 1.2, sort of the sub-story, and this is number six, the first part of the second story arc. Uh, still have the first story arc in stock. You can pick up the first issue, pick up the Black Cat Pack. As always, Amazing Spider-Man is one of the hottest books in comics. Lots of Spidey stuff this week. This is Spidey number two, sort of a flashback title. If any of you remember Untold Tales of Spider-Man from back in the day, it's a little bit like that. This is the second issue. We've still got number one in stock. But wait, there's more. Spider-Man 2099. Spider-Gwen and Spidey num and Deadpool number one. This is your uh, first issue of the new team-up book. You're going to see the two funniest guys in comics hanging out every issue. Lots of fun. And speaking of Deadpool, the guy gets more and more popular all the time. This is the latest issue of his main title. But this is a big old Deadpool coloring book. Color your own Deadpool. Yes, it's got famous pictures, panels from lots of Deadpool appearances that you can color yourself. Super awesome. Parental advisory, not for kids. This is not a coloring book that you want to give to the little ones. It's a coloring book just for you. Like everything Deadpool, Marvel's next big movie star. Still more Marvel to talk about. How about first issues? This is Uncanny X-Men number one. Traditionally speaking, your core X-Men title. Awesome Magneto cover there. A-Force number one, because anything with She-Hulk is awesome. Rocket Raccoon and Groot number one. Speaking of team-up books, because you guys can't get enough Rocket Raccoon. And how about continuing titles from all the Marvel relaunches? This is Doctor Strange number four. Another one of Marvel's next big movie stars. Invincible Iron Man number five with Doctor Doom there on the cover. Brian Michael Bendis taking on the Iron Man stuff these days. That's really awesome. Speaking of awesome, here's Totally Awesome Hulk. Second issue of that one. Still got the first one in stock, if you happen to let it sneak by you. Guardians of Infinity, the other Guardians of the Galaxy title for the week. Ultimates number two, your Black Panther title. Black Panther will be another one of Marvel's big movie stars here shortly. Howard the Duck number three. Told you this was a huge Marvel week. Nova number three. Vision number three. Weird World. And finally, Contest of Champions rounds out your couple dozen Marvel books for the week. If you're a Marvel fan, you better recycle those cans before you head to your local comic shop because this week might cost you a couple bucks. Good week for the DC guys too. Always like to start with Batman. Batman and Robin Eternal is your weekly Bat book. If you can't get enough Bat stuff, this one's coming at you 52 times a year. Cool Scarecrow cover there. Batman Beyond. Batman Detective, your other core Batman title. I want to mention that DC's variant covers are all coloring book titles this month. Not really showing them in the video because with the black and white it's not going to really turn out that awesome. But Detective, Action Comics, couple Green Lantern, Green Arrow all have coloring book titles. Here's your latest issue of Action Comics. Green Lantern. 
Jump in point for this one. You can check, read more about this one in our newsletter as well. If you've been passing up on Green Lantern, now's the time to jump back in before the next big event. Green Arrow, because Arrow and Lantern always come in twos. First issue of Swamp Thing. Everybody digs Swamp Thing. This one's written by all-time great Len Wein. Len Wein is seriously one of the all-time great writers of comics. If for some reason you are unfamiliar with him, pick up this book and it will show you why he's awesome. And then Google him and pick up anything he's ever written because Len Wein is really one of the greatest of all time. Midnighter and Telos round out your DCU stuff. A couple of books that might be flying under your radar, but Telos has been pretty cool, so you might want to check that out. DC Bombshells and Injustice are your uh, non-continuity DC books of the week. And we got three Vertigos, Sheriff of Babylon, Survivor's Club, and Unfollow. Been encouraging you guys to check out the new batch of Vertigo stuff. Always cool and creepy and fun. Not a lot to talk about from the other guys, but still lots of good stuff. Angel and Faith is my Whedonverse book of the week, because Angel's my favorite Whedonverse character. Really dig the job they've been doing with that book. Joe Gollum is my Mike Mignola book of the week. This is not Hellboy related, but I'm religiously obligated to tell you about anything from Mike Mignola. And Laura Croft is your Tomb Raider book of the week. Another Dark Horse pick. I think Laura Croft is a great property for comics, and Dark Horse does a good job with that line. Good week for the image guys. Some of my favorites. Black Science is probably my favorite image book right now. Because, well, it's just pulpy science fiction with a seriously dark twist. Uh, you can pick up the $1 reprint of the first issue or the first trade paperback. Check that out because it's super cool. Your last issue of Fade Out. I like anything from Ed Brubaker. Much like Len Wein, you should uh, Google Ed Brubaker and pick up anything he's ever done because he's lots of fun. Straight Bullets, another one of my very favorite image books. Longtime fan of David Latham. This book is darker than dark, but really entertaining. Cool stuff. And Elephant Man. Last image book of the week. I really dig Elephant Man. It's a fusion of all kinds of genres, of crime, superhero, science fiction. Really cool, really interesting, great stories, great art. Check out Elephant Man because it's really awesome. Star Trek New Visions. It's my IDW book of the week. It's a photo comic by another all-time great, my favorite guy, John Byrne. He doesn't do the art because, like I say, it's a photo comic, but he's taken images from all the original Star Trek episodes and put new stories to those pictures. Super cool. Star Trek New Visions. Invader Zim is my Oni Press book of the week because it's awesome. And Exo Manowar is my Valiant book of the week. Always been a big fan of Exo Manowar. If you like Conan and or Iron Man, Exo is a great mix of the two. Cool stuff. And encouraging you guys to check out some Valiant stuff. Like I say, not a huge week, but lots of great stuff to check out. So check those shipping lists and uh, don't miss out on anything super awesome. That's all I got for you for this week. You can check us out on Facebook. You can check us out at blackhatcomics.biz where you can sign up for our subscription service or update your subscription list at any time. Uh, or check out our cool YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.